Hey everybody, it's Hart from I Heart Wine once again uh, with your weekly wine review. Uh, today we will be talking about uh, the Yao Cabernet uh, 2017 from the Paso Robles area of California. Uh, they've been talking about Paso Robles being an up and coming area of California for a long time now. Uh, you know, with wines like Austin Hope, J. Lore, Justin, and of course the one we're talking about today. Uh, now, I would say it's more than up and coming, it has arrived. Uh, so, one of the largest AVAs in California, uh, with over 33,000 acres uh, under the vine, uh, 44 grape varietals, uh, including Zinfandel, Cabernet, and the Rhone style grapes, uh, Syrah, and Grenache, uh, particularly. Uh, it's an AVA that was created in 1983. Uh, they've updated some of the rules as of 1996, uh, uh, but that's uh, you know sort of small details you don't really need to know too much about to enjoy these wines. Uh, you know, in 1990 they had 30 wineries. Today they have over 200 wineries uh, in Paso Robles. Again, uh, I think it has gone from up and coming to arrived uh, over the last 20 years. Uh, it's a warm climate region, uh, so you're going to get a lot of those warm climate flavors. Uh, we've talked about in a couple other videos so far, uh, but just big fruity flavors. Uh, and then it does have a, get very cold at night in Paso, so it does allow those grapes time uh, to develop uh, and really get some of those secondary flavors uh, that are excellent as well. Uh, you know, dark chocolate, tobacco leaf, uh, probably a little bit of menthol, possibly, uh, black olives, uh, those sort of flavors. Uh, we'll find out when we go ahead and give it a taste. Uh, so Dow Vineyards was uh, founded by a couple of brothers, George and Daniel. Uh, they're of Lebanese descent, uh, the winemaking was sort of in their blood. Uh, when they moved to California, they have some pretty high degrees, uh, I believe engineering degrees actually, uh, before they decided to go back into wine uh, as a family. Uh, all their wines see new French oak, uh, obviously imported. Uh, they make four major wines, which is the regular Dow that we're going to taste today. Uh, they live between $20 and $30, depending on where you're going to get it from. Uh, they have the Dow Reserve, uh, which can be between $40 and $50. And then they make a couple of blends. Uh, pessimist, which is mostly Syrah. And again, if you saw the previous video, you know I'm in love with Syrah. Uh, so that is one of my favorite uh, red blends coming out of California. And then they have a new one, Bodyguard. Uh, Bodyguard's kind of their high-end uh, wine right now. It's coming in around $50, I believe. Um, but again, today we're going to talk about the Regular Dow 2017, which should be the current vintage on most shelves uh, in your market. Uh, it did receive a 93 points from Wine Enthusiast and uh, 92 from Robert Parker, uh, if you're into the points. Uh, so and let's go ahead and give this a taste and see what we think. Hmm. Rich ruby color. It has a tremendous nose. Can't wait to taste this. It's a black cherry, a little currant, traditional kind of plum and blackberry, and then some secondary notes. I'm getting a little dark chocolate. Some espresso and then uh, a little black olive as well. Mm. Lovely nose on this wine. Let's give it an actual taste and see what it tastes like on the palate. Again, just a great wine. Um, 
dark fruits, cherry, little black raspberry kind of pops on your tongue as soon as you get a good sip. Uh, some plum, maybe a little pomegranate. And then like I said, just like on the nose, uh, some espresso flavor, some Into some dry herbs um, and a little maybe cigar box as well. Uh, it's just a really nice wine. Uh, Tannins are nice and ripe. It's ready to drink. Uh, it would go tremendous with a nice steak uh, or any kind of meat really. It doesn't have to actually be steak. Some nice pork chops would go great as well. Uh, really a very good wine, uh, especially for that price point. I highly recommend it. Uh, again, Dow 2017. Uh, very good. Uh, so as always, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe so you can be updated up to new videos when they come out. Uh, next video will be Beaujolais Nouveau. Uh, Nouveau day is tomorrow uh, when I'm finishing up this video here. Uh, so by this weekend, I will have Beaujolais Nouveau tasted uh, and be able to give you recommendations for the current year. All right, look forward to it. Please, uh, I heart wine. I hope you do too.